This is the final video of the guitar building series. That took a long time. I started back in November of 2017. It's now June of 2018. I don't know how many months that is, but that was a lot of work. I'm so happy with how the guitars turned out, and I'm so, so relieved that uh, this video series is over, because that was a lot of work. In my last video, I did the True Oil rub-on finish, so the only thing left to do after that was the final setup, which is the nut and the saddle work. I took it to Steve Spaulding in Ashland, Oregon. He does that for a living, and he did an incredible job um, setting it up and getting it really playable. I'm gonna talk about a little bit about what Steve did, and then I'm gonna give some final thoughts, and then we're done, it's over. So Steve, leveled and polished the frets. He drilled the holes for the strings on the bridge. And he set up the nut and the saddle just right and he filed the grooves to, that the strings fit into. That stuff is re just super precision work and I'm, I'm not comfortable doing that so I'm really, really happy I took it to Steve. He is so good at what he does. He's been doing it for decades and that's the kind of experience that'll dial this thing in to make it really, really play, just the playability is gonna be really, really good. And it's really nice having that, an expert like check it out and give it the final like, let me know what's wrong. He did give me some feedback. Overall, he said, it's a beautiful guitar and it sounds great and the tone's awesome. I, he had two things that um, I would definitely approve upon next time. He said, um, one, the angle of the neck, I, I cut, the angle of my neck, it sits a little too far back. It should be a little bit forward. Um, what he did to compensate for that was just the saddle is a little bit higher than a normal saddle would be, so the strings still um, are just parallel to the fretboard. The other thing he told me was that the neck, the neck wasn't perfectly straight too. He has, his straight edges are straighter than my cheap plastic ones, so he was able to dial it in just by adjusting the truss rod a little bit. So those are things that'll be good to know for next time. I think for the neck angle, um, because I just cut a b butt joint, I didn't do the mortise and tenon. If I would have set up a jig for the mortise and tenon, you can get a more precise angle. So that's probably another reason to do a mortise and tenon, but those are really good things to know just because I would have no other way of of knowing them because I don't have the experience that Steve has. So thank you, Steve. Steve's a genius. He's so good at what he does. I absolutely recommend him and I trust him with this guitar that I just spent several months building. If you are building your first guitar, I would probably just recommend you take it to somebody else to get the final setup too because you invest enough time building the guitar. It's just a different skill set to get the setup just right. Um, and you can get a lot of valuable feedback. It is kind of, it was kind of expensive, but it was definitely worth it for me. So I just have a, a couple other thank yous to give besides to Steve. Um, first of all, WorkSharp Tools sponsored this guitar building series. And I really just can't tell you guys enough, like what I'm doing with the whole YouTube thing and the instructional videos, like it's a little bit unconventional and to have people and companies that get behind me and believe in what I'm doing just makes a, it just means a lot to me and all the people out there that are gonna use my videos to build stuff. So thank you so much to WorkSharp Tools. They have an incredible um, chisel sharpener and I know I've said this before but I wouldn't even build, bother building a guitar without their product. So I'm super happy with that relationship I built with WorkSharp Tools and thank you guys so much. Also, thank you to Eric Schaefer. Eric Schaefer has a guitar building series on YouTube also, and I've been talking to him for the last year or so pretty regularly, and he's just a super nice guy, and it's been really helpful as I've been trying to wrap my head around some of these processes that um, I, I just didn't have any idea how they work. So thank you to Eric Schaefer also. Finally, probably the biggest thank you goes to my wife, Gabby. Um, Every waking moment of the last year I've spent like investing in this thing and building this video series and Gabby has like, I owe you big time. She's so supportive and she's actually a wedding photographer also so I use a lot of her camera equipment and she helps me with my videos and photos 
So big, big, big thank you to my wife, Gabby. Thank you, love you, owe you big time, you're the best, all that stuff. I'm already editing the final montage, which is like start to finish one video with, edited to the music and everything. It looks really, really cool. I'm gonna release that as soon as I can. Um, I'm also probably gonna do another, after I finish the canoe, I did like a QA and a uh, with a giveaway attached to it, and I'll, I'm gonna, I'm planning on doing one of those for the guitar too, so if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button that you can click on the bell and they can, it'll notify you when my videos are posted, so if you want to stay up to date on all that stuff, you could click on that little bell to get the notifications. I am going to have somebody that's actually like really good at the guitar, um, I'm going to try to find somebody that will like test the guitar out and I'll make like a good video of them playing it and I'll post it here on my channel too. Until then, I'm gonna finish by playing a little song just so um, you guys can hear what it sounds like. Again, thank you so much for staying with me through this series. <clears throat>